Let's divide a decimal number, say 5.85, by another decimal number, 1.3. So what we want to know is how many 1.3s go into 5.85. Worth doing some estimation here. So if we said that 5.85 was actually a 6 and 1.3 was, say, 1.5, if I can work with halves as well. So how many one and a halves go into 6? 4. So our estimate would be around 4. Of course, our answer, our accurate answer won't be that, but we'll be hopefully close to it. So what we do is we set up our division is 5.85, very spaciously, divided by 1.3. Now, hard to work with this algorithm and, and have this decimal number out here. So what we try to do is we always want to have a whole number here on the outside. So instead of 1.3, I'll use all those digits and I want a 13. So all I need to do is multiply the 1.3 by 10 which will make it a 13. But if I do that, I have to keep this division proportional. So I have to multiply the 5.85 by 10 as well. So instead of 5, we'll have 58. So 58, now the point is after the 8.5. And now we are ready to go, or almost ready, because we have 13, which is a whole number, and we can work with that. So decimal point being really clearly placed on the top, so we know exactly where our answer will be. The dotted lines help even to write the remainder sitting on the line to help us. So we have to work now 13 into that. If we think we're going to spend too much time guessing, I always suggest do the tables of 13, not the whole lot, just times 1 times 2, which is just a double, times 4, which is doubling again. Not hard in our heads if we think about 25 and 25 would be 50, and we still have 1 and 1, so 50, oops, 52. Let's just correct that, 52. Then times 8, another doubling, so 52 times 2, or doubling, will be 104. Then we do times 10, 13 times 10 will be 130. And half of that will give us the 5. So half of 100 is 50. Half of 30 is 15. So we should have 65. 50 and 15. So now let's move back to the division itself. Let's ask ourselves, does 13 go into 5? No, of course not, because it's larger than 5. So let's plug a 0 in there, just so that our digits will fall in the correct place. Then we stretch that number and say, does 13 go into 58? Oh, yes, it does. And just with a glance, I see that 4 times would probably be good, because 4 times 13 is 52. And to 58, we have 6 left, 6 units. Now we are working with 65. Does 13 go into 65? Oh, yes, it does. And actually, it goes exactly 5 times. So I could write here. 5 times 13 is 65, nothing left. Our final answer is that number. We can always drop that 0 to the left of the 4, and we have 4.5 as a final answer.